Okay, this is the low-end service port on a 2001 Chevy Silverado for the AC. And I went and charged it, recharged the system the other day, and realized that it is leaking right here from this valve. And you can kind of see the little spray from the Freon there. And the easiest way to tell is you can either put a balloon over these ports. This is the high end. You put a balloon over this, or you just simply put your finger over there if you feel any pressure coming up, then obviously it's leaking, and you can kind of see here as well, it's been spraying under pressure here. So what you want to do is, is you want to replace this there's a little valve. Let me see if I can focus here. There's that little valve. It looks like a little valve stem on a tire, but they call it a Schrader valve. And they make a tool. Here's a little tool here at O'Reilly's or AutoZone. It costs about $4.00. And yeah, it's going to evacuate your system. This is 134, so it should be ozone friendly. If it's not, well, sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this tool inside here. And you're just going to kind of rotate it just a little bit to the left. You can kind of see that it's going to evacuate the system first. And when it's done, we're going to put in the new valve. And I'll show you what little kit looks like that I bought here. Here's the kit I bought. It comes with two little Schrader valves, the Schrader valve tool. It was $3.99 at O'Reilly's. Okay, so actually all I had to end up doing was taking the Schrader valve tool and in that previous clip I released that pressure on the Freon and then I turned around and just tightened that Schrader valve back up pretty good. I didn't even have to replace it, it just was a little bit loose. I put my finger over it here and I'm not getting any pressure release on that. That's it, four bucks, fix the problem.